Chatbots talk, agents do, that's the tagline. But what does it really mean? Imagine if instead of telling a chatbot, summarize this article, and then copying the result into an email yourself, you could simply say, email my team a summary of these articles and schedule a meeting to discuss them on Thursday. And watch the AI handle everything, reading, summarizing, drafting the email and adding the meeting to everyone's calendar. In today's episode of Insight Stream, we're stepping beyond ChatGPT into the world of AI agents that don't just answer questions. They actually get things done. If you stay with us until the end, you'll see why agents are the next big leap in artificial intelligence, how they work under the hood, real examples you can use right now, and the guardrails you need to protect yourself from potential pitfalls. Oh, and we have a challenge for you. Think of the first task you'd hand off to an AI agent and drop it in the comments below. We'll pick the most creative one and feature it in our next video. Ready? Let's dive in. Let's start by clarifying the difference between a chatbot and an agent. A chatbot is essentially a conversational interface. It's great at answering questions, generating text, and having a dialogue. You type, what's the weather like in New York? And the chatbot tells you the forecast. But once the conversation ends, it's done. It doesn't remember your preferences. It doesn't call outside tools. And it doesn't perform any actions on your behalf. An agent, on the other hand, is like an autonomous coworker or personal assistant. It doesn't just give you information. It understands your goal, breaks it down into steps, and then uses different tools and services to execute those steps. Chatbots talk. Agents do. Here's an analogy. Chatbots are like consultants. They give advice. Agents are like project managers. They plan, delegate, and deliver results. That's why agents are so exciting. They promise to free you from mundane tasks like copying information between tabs, sending routine emails, or booking appointments. Instead of being stuck in endless browser windows, you become the supervisor, telling your agent what you want done and reviewing the results. So how does an AI agent actually work? Most agents follow a five-step loop, perceive, think, plan, act, and learn. First, the agent perceives your goal and gathers the context it needs. For example, if you ask it to book a table at your favorite restaurant, it needs to know what restaurant you like, how many people are coming, and your preferred time. Second, it thinks. It uses reasoning to figure out what tasks must be done. Does it need to check the restaurant's availability, see your calendar, and confirm the number of diners? Third, it creates a plan, a sequence of steps it will follow to achieve your goal. This might include looking up the restaurant's reservation system, sending a query, and writing a confirmation email. Fourth, the agent acts. It calls external tools like reservation APIs, email services, calendars, or search engines to execute each step. Finally, it learns. After completing the task, the agent stores what it learned, like your preferred dinner times or who you often invite, so it can do better next time. This perceive, think, plan, act, learn loop runs continuously until the agent finishes the job or reaches a guardrail you set. A key part of agents is that they use tools, functions that let them interact with the world. Without tools, a chatbot can only generate text. With tools, an agent can search the web, access your Google Drive, send emails, book flights, update spreadsheets, or control smart devices. Another important component is memory. Chatbots can hold a conversation, but they don't remember anything once the session ends. Agents, however, keep short-term memory to track the current task and long-term memory to remember your preferences across sessions. That way, if you always ask to fly from the same airport or like a particular airline, the agent can automatically use those details in future plans. Let's make it concrete with three examples you can use today. First, research automation. Suppose you're writing a report on climate change. Instead of opening a dozen tabs, copying information, and manually summarizing, you tell your agent, Research the latest findings on global sea level rise. Summarize the top three peer-reviewed studies. Highlight any conflicting viewpoints and draft a 500-word summary. The agent will search for relevant papers, scrape the data it needs, read the articles using summarization tools, extract the main arguments and numbers, note any disagreements between studies, and then assemble everything into a concise summary, complete with references. It might even format it in a Google Doc, ready for you to edit. You saved hours of reading and note-taking. Your job is to fact-check and provide expert judgment. Second, follow-up emails and calendar scheduling. Imagine you just met a potential collaborator at a conference. After the event, you tell your agent, 
Send Alex a thank you email summarizing our discussion about the Renewable Energy Project. Suggest three times next week for a 30-minute follow-up meeting. If he confirms, add it to our calendars. The agent drafts a friendly email with the points you discussed, picks three time slots when you're both free, and schedules the meeting once Alex accepts. It handles the back and forth politely and professionally, saving you from playing inbox ping pong. You still review the email before sending, or you can let the agent auto-send if you're comfortable, but the heavy lifting is done. Third, vacation planning. Suppose you want a weekend getaway. You say, plan a two-day trip to Seattle for next month. Find flights under $300 leaving Friday morning and returning Sunday evening. Book a hotel downtown with at least a 4.5 star rating under $200 per night. Suggest three restaurants with great seafood and create a simple itinerary that includes Pike Place Market, a museum, and a scenic hike. The agent searches flights across airlines, filters them by price and time, picks a hotel that matches your preferences, lists restaurants with excellent reviews, and designs an itinerary, including how long each activity will take. It can even book your tickets and hotel if you authorize payment. The result is a ready-made travel plan delivered to your email. All you did was describe the outcome. With great power comes responsibility and agents are no exception. There are real risks to consider. Because agents can act, they can make mistakes, like sending the wrong email, booking the wrong flight, or oversharing personal data. They can hallucinate information and create erroneous plans if they don't have enough context. And if given too much freedom, an agent might run in circles or make changes you didn't intend. That's why guardrails matter. Always follow the principle of least privilege. Give the agent access only to the tools and data it needs for the current task. For sensitive actions like payments or sharing private information, keep a human in the loop to confirm before anything is sent. Set limits on how long an agent can run and how many steps it can take and insist on logs or explanations of what the agent did so you can audit its actions. Think of agents as interns. They can save you a lot of time, but you should supervise their work until trust is earned. You might be wondering how to start using agents. You don't need to be a programmer. There are increasingly user-friendly tools that let you harness agentic power. Services like Perplexity's Comet or other AI browsers will soon include agentic features that can summarize pages and perform tasks inside your browser. Email tools are adding agents that automatically draft replies and schedule follow-ups. Research assistants like Jasper and Janai help you organize sources and write reports. If you're more technical, frameworks like Langchain, Crew AI, or Microsoft's Autogen let you build custom agents using large language models and functions. They provide the scaffolding to define tools, plan tasks, manage memory, and handle feedback loops. You can plug in APIs like Google Calendar, Gmail, Slack, and your own databases so the agent can work across your digital life. There are also open source projects like AutoGPT and AgentGPT where you can run agents locally with your own data. Looking ahead, the real revolution will be multi-agent ecosystems, groups of specialized agents that communicate with each other. Imagine an editor agent working with a researcher agent, a fact checker agent, and a translator agent to produce a polished report in multiple languages or a personal finance agent cooperating with a travel agent and a health agent to plan a vacation that meets your budget, aligns with your fitness goals, and ensures you meet your savings target. Each agent handles its expertise and passes information to the others. This swarm of AI assistants will change how we work and live. That's why it's important to understand not just how to prompt a chatbot, but how to think in terms of goals, tasks, and systems when working with agents. Before we wrap up, let's recap what we've learned. We started with the core difference. Chatbots talk, agents do. We unpacked the five-step agent loop of perceiving, thinking, planning, acting, and learning. We saw how tools and memory give agents power beyond text generation. We walked through three real-world use cases, research automation, follow-up emails with calendar scheduling, and vacation planning, showing how agents save you time and let you focus on higher-level decisions. We also discussed risks and guardrails because with autonomy comes responsibility. And we looked at how to get started, whether through no-code services or coding frameworks, plus a glimpse of the multi-agent future. Now it's your turn. What's the first task you'd hand to an AI agent? Would you automate your daily stand-up notes, delegate meal planning, or maybe have an agent book your parents' anniversary party? Drop your answer in the comments. We'll feature the most creative one in our next video. If you found this breakdown valuable, 
smash that like button so more people can learn about agentic AI. If you want to stay on the cutting edge of artificial intelligence, subscribe to Insight Stream and ring that bell. We're posting new deep dives every week. And if you want a shortcut to the exact tools we use to build our agents, including our favorite AI browsers, research assistants, and automation frameworks, we've put them all together in our AI Tools Master List on Gumroad. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future.